Police were first notified um, uh, a bit after 2 o'clock. It would appear that the incident probably occurred between probably 2 a.m. and 2.15. Uh, the victim in this matter has attended the United Service Station at Park Ridge uh, around about that time with uh, a female and another male. Um, soon after that, a, a, another vehicle has arrived at the service station and the victim has left with, um, in that vehicle with another person and um, it would appear they've driven down the road and pulled over. We have located another scene um, which is being examined at the moment. It would appear that the incident has probably occurred at that scene and the, the victim, the 21-year-old victim, has uh, sustained certain stab wounds. He's managed to um, make his way back on foot to the service station where he succumbed to those injuries. Who discovered the body? The, the male and the female that were with the victim were still at the... Um, service station at the time and uh, when the victims arrived back there. Have you had any luck um, finding witnesses? Uh, we, we're currently uh, speaking with one male person who is um, uh, assisting us with our inquiries but obviously we would put out an appeal to any member of the public who was travelling along Chambers Flat Road um, probably between about 2am and 2.15am who may have seen a white Holden Commodore parked on the side of the road. Uh, or who may have seen any sort of disturbance uh, in that vicinity at that time, we would ask them to come forward and call and uh, contact the police. Was there CCTV at the service station? There is CCTV at the service station, yes, and we, we're obviously accessing that, but as I say, the incident would appear to have occurred further down the road. Have you found a knife at the second scene? Or the... Well, at, at, the, uh, at what we believe now to be the primary crime scene, uh, we have located a number of uh, items, including a knife, yes. Um, any truth to the story it may be a drug deal gone wrong? Look, it's, it's very early uh, in the investigation at this stage. It would be unfair to speculate on the reasons why this has occurred. So um, we have uh, detectives here at the moment from uh, Logan, from the Homicide Squad and the Serious and Violent Crime Squad, and they're, they're interviewing uh, a number of people. And hopefully the story will evolve during the day. Well, did anyone see a registration for this car at all? Uh, we have recovered the car, yes. Where was the car found? Uh, the, the person that's assisting us with our inquiries at the moment had the vehicle, and, uh, and we currently have that in our possession. Did that person attend to the police station of their own accord? Yes. And the young man was stabbed multiple times? Um, obviously that will be subject to the post-mortem examination, but, uh, but I can say that he did sustain a number of uh, stab wounds. And he's attempted to walk back to his friends? He? Well, he has, he has um, it would appear, on foot moved back from that primary crime scene back to the service station, which is probably uh, 150 to 200 metres. Um, but he su uh, succumbed to those injuries at the service station. What kind of a um, well, th That area is still being examined at the moment, um, so I can't really um, say too much more about the knife, and, uh, and we're not suggesting at this stage that that's the knife that's been used. We don't know at this point in time. Do you have a, a suspect yet? Uh, early in the investigation, as I say, um, many people um, still to be interviewed, and um, hopefully that will uh, evolve during the day. Do you know where the 21-year-old was from? Uh, Browns Plains. Has his family been informed? Yes. How are they? Oh, well, as you would expect, you know. Um, son's just been, uh, been um, killed, so I think goes without saying, pretty distraught. Do they have any money on him or anything at the time? Can you talk about some of the other options? No, no, we can't talk about any of the operational issues at the moment. Sure. Do you have a quick resolution? Uh, well, that'd be very nice. So, um, but as I say, um, we are still looking for assistance from the public and, um, and I just reiterate that any, any member of the public who was travelling on Chambers Flat Road between 2am and 2.15am this morning, uh, particularly in the vicinity there of um, the United Service Station, uh, if they saw anything unusual, if they saw anything they considered to be suspicious or if they saw the white Commodore parked on the side of the road, we'd ask them to contact police or crime stoppers. Other than the victim, is there anyone else in the Commodore? Uh, obviously the driver. Yep. Just, just two. Uh, well, at this stage, we, we are interviewing one person and, um, and uh, the inquiries are continuing. So, If, um, if it happened at around 2 o'clock and police weren't called till around 2.30, what happened in that half hour? Um, I, I don't believe there's any delay in, in, the, uh, in calling the police. Um, I believe the, the police were, were first called um, <coughs> soon after 2.15. I'm just not sure of the exact time. But there was no, no delay that I'm aware of. And paramedics worked on the young man for a while. Yes, that's true.